Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and if it's one thing I love talking about on my channel is computer malware, computer viruses, and just generally the nefarious side of computer software. Now, this today comes at you with Dark Souls 3. Now, the last couple days I've been following this real closely, but uh, if you actually play Dark Souls online, you probably should not play it online, specifically Dark Souls 3. Now, I believe if you're on the newer generation versions of Souls games, basically the games that run on the newer engine, like Bloodborne, like Dark Souls 3, like Sekiro, and possibly even Elden Ring. Now, to understand, as far as I know, there is no Bloodborne PC version. Sekiro does not even have an online component, and Elden Ring is still like a month away from being released. Now, Dark Souls 3 is the only from software game that runs on their new engine on PC, and it allows you to connect to random people, okay? You can get invaded, you can invade other people, it allows people to talk to one another through their computers, okay, online. It's a single player game with a online component sort of bled into it. It seems as if anybody connecting into your session has the ability to do RCE, which is remote code execution. Now, if you look back to when we covered Minecraft, you, and we covered real, basically Log4j, we showed you how to use RCE within Minecraft through the Log4j logging vulnerability. Now, to understand how bad RCE is, I want you to imagine how it goes, okay? Like, basically, anybody can connect to your session, and they can do a multitude of things. They could crash your game. They could open up a calculator app. Or, they could open up a shell and escalate their privileges. They can gain root access. Or, they could run things like ransomware. Where basically they could do any kind of nefarious thing to your system. And the reason why RCE is so bad is that until it's patched, okay, people who may have the best security practices unintentionally expose themselves through software like this. Now, before we get into this, okay, let's go look into an example of what this looks like, okay? So, for instance, one streamer actually ended up catching this. I believe their name is The Grim Sleeper, all right? Their game ended up being slept on, so let's go check out this nonsense here real quick. So here they're actually playing with some friends, they're having a good time, but see that dark spirit invading? That's the real spooky things, that's the dark spirit bloodshade G9. Now this user actually knows how to exploit RCE, uh, one of four people at the moment apparently it seems. Once this person joins in, they're actually going to run a piece of code that'll crash this person who's playing the game and streaming it. So here it is, they're getting in, everything seems fine, they do not care, and BAM! It crashed! Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! So, yeah, when this happens, it's not exactly the best time in the world, it's not exactly the nicest thing to be seeing. So, this was done in the least malicious way possible. But if somebody actually wanted to hurt your computer, they very much could. Now, you may be wondering, okay, Muda, maybe this is just Dark Souls 3. The reality is, this RCE exploit exists within the engine and netcode of Dark Souls itself. Now, because these games are incredibly similar in terms of their engine makeup, there's no doubt in my mind that their netcode has this running in their bases, okay? So, if this could happen on Dark Souls 3, it's speculated right now that it could very easily happen on games like Elden Ring, which gladly has not released. If this exploit wasn't found until Elden Ring came out and millions of people jumped into it on PC, they may find themselves being the target of an RCE exploit that could absolutely be handled by any script kitty out there. As far as I know, the tools to causes aren't exactly complete public knowledge, but uh, if it were, <laughs> people were playing the brand new spanking game from From Software, it's pretty bad. There's a reason I actually don't play any From Software game on my PC, simply because if these, simply because Bandai Namco absolutely puts no effort into the PC ports for any of these games. Um, I don't think that's like an industry trade secret. We all kind of just knew that. Any game that requires you to download a crap ton of mods to have a usable player experience, like an actual frame rate, is not a game I would ever recommend buying on PC. Which is why mostly when it comes to their games, I love playing them, but I buy them on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Now, if you're an Xbox One PlayStation player, you probably don't have to worry about this at all, uh, simply because even though uh, this exploit may technically exist on those builds in some capacity, uh, because the systems aren't exploited, they're not able to basically destroy PlayStations and Xboxes or run any remote code on them. There's an entire hypervisor that makes sure that that isn't going to happen. So if you're on the consoles, you're basically safe. In fact, as far as I know, Bandai Namco actually straight up shut down the servers 
because this was uh, this was just floating around. So right now, if you're playing Dark Souls on PC, set it to offline. Don't connect to people. Don't pass go. Don't do anything. Because if you're playing the game online and some random person invades your session, Alt F4 or face some possible you know issues, possible RCE hitting your system, and nobody wants that. What's kind of wild is if you look at like one of their Speed Souls Discord, they they basically actually clear up what's what's kind of here. Uh, I'll try and clear things up. A person who isn't malicious discovered a new RCE method and tried to contact from about it through multiple channels. They ignored him. Oh no! Come on! You never ignore an RCE exploit. You fix it. In an attempt to raise awareness to it so it would then be fixed, as this is a severe security flaw, he did a live benign showcase on stream. It didn't leak, nobody has it beside him, which is what we just saw. He's in contact with SFIX, so we can fix it in BS, which is Blue Sentinel mod, which I'll just show you. But this isn't ideal, as the base product is insecure. Absolutely. We also thinking about Elden Ring, as it will have that exploit as well. Again, that's speculative, but because the netcode is so similar and the engine work is so similar, I actually don't doubt that this exists within Elden Ring. The attempts to get From Software's attention and get an official fix in their exploits is what drives most of us. Dark Souls 3 is unsafe, even with Blue Sentinel at the moment, so people should complain to From about it. That being said, only because the person who has it isn't malicious and actually understands the severity of it, uh, what he discovered, it isn't likely to damage your computer. But here's the problem with that. Now that this is out there, there's a lot of developers, all right, who have malicious intentions who can now isolate and figure out that me, this RC ex exists. Maybe I can do it. Maybe there are multiple ways to do an RC exploit like this. It's pretty shitty that From Software actually ignored this person, if this is to be believed. Because listen, I've actually played these games on PC. My friends like to play these games co-op together. I like to join them on the adventure. Knowing now that the entire time we were sitting on a goddamn landmine does not actually make me happy. So you might be like, Muda, what can you do? Well, there's a couple things that you can run. As far as I know, Windows 10, which is the supported OS for this, Windows 11, does have ransomware protection. So I would actually stick the Dark Souls executable into ransomware protection. And there are a couple ways you can do this with Microsoft Windows Defender. The other way that you can do this is literally through a community-built anti-cheat known as Blue Sentinel. So here on Nexus Mods, you can actually download this little file and get it installed. And from what it seems like, this is going to solve the issue. Dark Souls 3, and well, really any From Software game, has a real hacking issue. And it doesn't go into like somebody's going to teleport behind you and backstab you and kill you. It literally will go into people corrupting your user save files and various things. And it seems like From Software does not give a shit about that whatsoever. So, frankly, videos like this are very important because, if anything, the community has to raise enough awareness and attention so that an actual AAA game developer can go into their game and fix a goddamn RCE exploit which should never have fucking sat here as long as it should have. It's kind of insane how these things go on, but I would say if this existed in any other game like GTA Online or Call of Duty or Battlefield or really anything big, the, the hoopla should be just as big. Remember, millions of people play these video games and unintentionally exploiting them to the worst possible form of cyber attacks is not okay. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to talk about it because it's it's pretty big, especially in the gaming community, and it should be. That being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.